Here's an example of some IM centers that I already have prepared. So when we go into the bin, I have a label that tells me what belongs in this particular bin for sort and display. Um, in third grade, we don't do stage one, so the only things that you would find in here are stage two and three. And I have printed out the PDFs from the IM curriculum and I put them in these plastic sleeves so kids could use dry erase markers to reuse the paper repeatedly as we play throughout um, the week that we are supposed to use it or maybe I want to use it again later to reinforce the learning. And inside along with it, I have some things they can sort. Um, some you can use counters, bears, whatever you'd like. Over here we have the capture squares. Again, the label that tells me what belongs in my bin in case kids mess things up or things get put into the wrong bins. Somebody else could help me categorize it or put it in the right bins. And I have printed out the PDFs from the IM curriculum as well. So I have two different levels in here currently. One of the levels requires dice and one of the other levels requires the spinner along with the number cards which I have printed out and I had extra spinners that I could label which I've labeled the numbers that belong with this particular game board but also you could print out the spinners like it's suggested in the IM curriculum and make your own spinners with paper clips and have them in the bin. So here are two bins that are ready to go. I like having them all set up so that way I can have kids pull the bin whenever they want to play with some of the items during free time. And I also really like using these center summary cards to help me remember like what game boards I'm going to be using during which unit uh, and, and which section. So I, that way I know that if I'm teaching unit one, section A, these are the three games that I need to make sure that are available in my bin and it's the stages that I'm going to be using for my particular grade level are listed on here in this summary. I hope this was really helpful for you. I know for me teaching third grade I am um, has been challenging with these uh, games and trying to figure out which stage to use for which lesson and and having them all organized where the kids can actually access them without me for centers uh, has been really helpful. Having them organized this way is totally a game changer for me and I hope that it makes your life teaching I am a lot better. Check out our TPT at Kinda Techie Teachers for this item.